Following the deregistration of the four EDUCOR colleges, parents of students who study at the institutions are left frustrated. This parent says her child who is studying at Demlin only has three subjects left before completing his qualification. I'm so frustrated and angry. What are you demanding? My refund. My son, my son will start afresh because this qualification is not going anywhere. If I can say my son can come to this school to continue, what I'm going to do with the uh, document? It's not valid. It's not going to be valid. It's going to be a degree that doesn't have value. The four EDUCOR colleges have been deregistered after years of irregularities. Poor quality of teaching and learning, lack of proper administrative support, poorly qualified staff, corruption and bribery, lack of response for requests for refunds, lack of professionalism, exploitation of poor students, non-payment of staff salaries and underpayment of staff salaries. Some students at Demlin say the cracks started showing a while back at the embattled institution. There was no compliance, um, especially when it comes to administration and student advisors. Um, I would say that they're fast in charging school fees, reminding you that you're late with your payment, then resolving problems like portal issues. Lecturers were leaving, um, some lecturers weren't coming to class, already the culture was just bad from the beginning. Honestly, there were signs. There were signs since last year. The signs were there. So much was happening, lecturers, there was inconsistency when it came to lecturers. Um, for the first semester, you'd find different lecturers, second semester, other lecturers, um, and also just the lack of communication when it came to the actual campus itself. Most of them have paid over 50,000 rand up front. I would like to be reimbursed because unfortunately I don't I don't believe in them anymore. I don't have faith in them anymore. I'd like to be reimbursed. For, us, for them to reimburse us our money so that we can look for our alternatives ourselves because I do not believe that they're actually going to help us look for other colleges to go to. Body Edicor that represents the colleges is yet to respond to the many questions linked to the saga. Staff at the four colleges are urged to approach the Labour Court and CCMA for help. Meanwhile, higher education has urged students to always scrutinise and verify the legitimacy and statuses of all institutions of higher learning before registrations. Patricia Fasahi, SBC News, in Pretoria.